Shilajit gummies, the Himalayan mineral pitch. The world of natural health supplements. Let's explore a fascinating substance called Shilajit. Collagen production and bone health. One of the most exciting areas of research on Shilajit focuses on its impact on collagen production. Collagen is a protein that plays a crucial role in bone health, skin elasticity, and overall connective tissue health. Studies suggest that shilajit may help stimulate collagen production in the body. This could be beneficial for healing fractures, improving bone density, and even promoting healthier skin. Anti-inflammatory effects. The fulvic acid in shilajit is also generating interest for its potential anti-inflammatory properties. Inflammation is a natural process, but chronic inflammation can contribute to various health issues. While research is still ongoing, some studies suggest that shilajit may help reduce inflammation in the body. This could be promising for individuals dealing with inflammatory conditions like arthritis. Shilajit originates in the mighty Himalayas, where it's been used for centuries in traditional medicine. In a remote Kashmir village there is Manoha, who hangs from cliffs to find a supposed miracle aphrodisiac. The Valley of Pad is one of the most remote regions in Jammu and Kashmir and Manoha is the only one in his small village who dares to harvest Shilajit. Today he's heading out with his son LXMI and their friend Adia. The journey to the Pia Panel Range in the lower Himalayas will take them about two to three days. They're going to climb up 12,000 feet. That's the height at which Shilajit forms in the Himalayas. It's also found in Russia, Tibet, and even the north of Chile. After 10 hours of hiking the men arrive. But now they're sitting on a steep rock wall and the only way of getting there is climbing. With nothing but his own body for support, it's mind over matter walking on the edge at 12,000 feet. He then reaches the black shilajit rocks. It's hard like cement so he needs a chisel to break it off. It forms when microorganisms decompose certain plants over centuries. What's left behind is shilajit. They usually extract it in spring and then again in fall before the snow can get to it. After collecting about 500 G they call it a day and set up a camp to stay overnight. Everybody is trying to be healthy and eat good food. Shilajit has its roots in Ayurvedic medicine which originated in India over 3000 years ago. It's a traditional healing system that uses natural products and ancient texts talk about its healing powers. But shilajit can't be eaten in its raw form. Research in shil is limited but Ayurvedic experts say that it is rich in metallic compounds minerals and nutrients and it's especially effective for treating infertility. They did find that the sperm count increased. They also saw an increase in testosterone levels as well as things like energy muscle growth, not just in men, but also in women. It also contains fluvic acid which is said to boost immunity and reduce inflammation. Who should consider shilajit gummies? Shilajit gummies can be a great option for several groups of people. Natural Health Seekers If you're interested in exploring natural ways to support your health and well-being, shilajit gummies offer a unique option derived from traditional practices. Bone Health Boost For those concerned about bone health, whether due to aging, injuries, or specific conditions, the potential benefits of shilajit in collagen production and bone formation make these gummies worth considering. And the way you take it is there's a very small spoon comes with it. You put in a small spoonful one to three times a day and you drink it in water. Wow. Yeah. You said it does have a tar taste to it, but... A little tarry, yeah, but the big thing is this is something that the monks in Tibet and, and the Himalayas had, have used for thousands of yeah. years. And so the question is, does that make it good or amongst just health? Anti-inflammatory support. If you experience occasional discomfort or are looking for natural ways to manage inflammation, the potential anti-inflammatory properties of shilajit gummies could be helpful. Remember, it's always best to discuss chronic inflammation with your doctor. 
Look for brands that 1. Source their shilajit from the Himalayas. 2. Clearly state the amount of shilajit per serving. 3. Offer third-party lab testing to ensure purity and potency. 4. Use organic and natural ingredients You're in their gummies. this popular supplement, you might be in a lot of danger. I've been getting some backlash recently because, as you may know, I shared my year-long experiment of using shit legit, and I saw a few comments saying that this popular supplement is actually dangerous to take. Despite being used by shamans for centuries as an Ayurvedic medicine, shit legit has only recently become renowned in the West due to studies suggesting it can help cognitive function, things like learning and memory, has anti-aging potential because it supports cell health, and there's a bunch of other benefits that come with it as well. What some of these comments were warning me of though was that supposedly it contained a dangerous amount of heavy metals. So if I've been using this for over a year now and feel great, these comments are obviously wrong and all she legit should be completely safe, right? Well I'm safe but you might not be. Some people believe that if you don't take shilajit in its raw form, then it might lose its nutritional value. Not only is this false, but it's in this raw, non-purified form that shilajit contains the high level of heavy metals. Once it's been properly purified, you can enjoy all of its benefits completely safe. So these comments are showing that some people don't realize there's a big difference between raw and purified shilajit. But here's the problem. Due to the popularity of shilajit, there are scammers selling the substance which, to save money, has not been properly purified. You need to make sure that you buy from a legit source that shows you its lab results from purifying and then testing its product. This is why I only... This is Nick Nelson, the Mad Scientist of Muscle, and what I've got for you today here is a very high in ionic trace minerals. Um, the humic and the fulvic acid actually help to improve cellular um, membrane permeability which means that the nutrients get into your cells much more effectively and more efficiently. This helps everything in your body work better because it's actually helping you get the nutrients that you're putting in. It's good for, uh, it's been used for improving strength, um, vitality, it's been good for balancing hormones, this is used for immune system. Um, it helps improve a lot of things in the body, detoxification. This stuff can actually compete with um, heavy metals for absorptions. The kicker, the benefits. What you can get from this stuff is actually really, really beneficial. It's um, For me personally, I've been taking various forms of this for about a month. I do find primarily the, what I've noticed is better recovery from hard training. Uh, my strength has actually gone up more than it normally would with the, for the training that I'm doing. And I find that I'm able to recover from it more effectively, more easily. I always sleep like a log, so it doesn't really do much for me in terms of that. That's not been an issue. but. Um, for me personally, that's been the biggest eye-opener for me is the recovery and the improvement in strength. So I'm Dr. Robert. And today on 5-ish Minutes with Dr. Robert, my subject is Shilajit or Shilajitu, which literally means born from the mountain. Jit in this case means born and Shila in this case means mountain. So Shilajit is a substance and so far nobody really knows exactly what it is. It's possible that it's some sort of polymerized latex. That is one theory. In any event, it's a substance that oozes out of rocks in the mountains when it's very hot. There is shilajit in the Himalaya, there's shilajit in the Urals, there's shilajit apparently even in the Rocky Mountains. Um, and it's quite possible that they have different qualities. Um, but what we do know is the Shilajit in the Himalaya has been used in Ayurveda for many centuries, if not millennia. And we do know that people are now uh, adding Shilajit to all kinds of things and advising people to take Shilajit. Um, and there are certain things that therefore we should know about Shilajit. Number one, it's very hot. Number two, it has a strong stimulating effect. Number three, it has a lot of humic acids in it. And some people believe it is the humic acids that do the job. Whatever it may be, traditionally in Ayurveda, it has been used chiefly for, uh, for treatment of uh, genitourinary conditions, so um, pro including diabetes and other problems with the urinary tract, but also with insufficient um, vitality to the reproductive organs. Disclaimer. It's important to remember that these statements about shilajit gummies have not been evaluated by the FDA. 
Shilajit gummies are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Conclusion Shilajit gummies offer a convenient and potentially beneficial addition to your wellness routine. However, it's crucial to do your own research and consult with a healthcare professional before trying any new supplement. Especially if you have any underlying health conditions or take medications. They can advise you on whether Shilajit gummies are right for you and recommend a safe dosage. We hope this video sparked your interest in learning more about Shilajit. Remember, a healthy approach to wellness involves a combination of factors. So prioritize a balanced diet, regular exercise, and quality sleep alongside exploring natural supplements.